Good morning, good afternoon and good evening and welcome back to the channel. Um, since the current predicament that we are in, I have now, I now have the time to, uh, to catch up with some, some comics that I either haven't read all the way through, haven't actually started reading or ones I've really wanted to, to reread. Um, <clears throat> first one on the list was... Batman City of Owls. So this is the second volume of the Scott Schneider Greg Capullo run, the New 52 run of Batman after The Court of Owls. Uh, this one I was incredibly lucky to meet Scott Schneider in New York and I, I had my copy of uh, Court of Owls with me and I said, you know, that's the only one I've got so far. I want to build up a, like, a collection of everything. And he was incredibly kind and generous and gave me this issue signed by both him and Greg Capullo. And like I said, it was just about getting the time to sit down and read it. So I'm very, very thankful and very delighted that I got that <clears throat> from Scott Snyder. Uh, let's, let's get into it. So the first three issues are a continuation of The Court of Owls. Those three issues, very, very, very strong. Greg Capullo's artwork is fantastic, as it pretty much always is throughout the series so far. Um, <clears throat> one slight issue I have with it, and this is the... What issue would it be? Six? Uh, sorry, eight. Uh, just at the end of eight, there is a swap of artists. Um, I don't know what for. Uh, I think it's at the end of eight, because it's the first issue of this particular volume. So I think it's there. It seems a little bit strange, um, but I'm kind of I'll just kind of go with it. Other than that, the first three issues really, really strong, just fantastic sort of clip and sort of conclusion to the end of the the Court of Owls. Issue four is a slightly different take. Um, we have an issue of was it Jarvis Pennyworth um, going through a couple of weeks maybe in the life of him leading up to his death, uh, all told from the point of view of him writing a letter to Alfred. Very well scripted, very well structured, artwork phenomenal as always, and it was a really nice sort of slight change of pace uh, compared to what we had been having with, with the court slash City of Owls. And it was a nice way to tie in the past of uh, Jarvis and Thomas and Martha and their ties to to the court of ours and that was that was really interesting to see and this is where we kind of go off the rails a little bit so issue five is a one-off where it is a random girl that is invited to a big bruce wayne party just because she won a competition and she has batman standing up for her and her and her brother so she decides to to help batman in a way that she can uh, artwork slightly different again. Not too sure the the artwork on this one because being a collected volume, normally they have the artists at, at the front or at the very beginning of of the issues. And for some reason, I couldn't find it on this. Please let me know if you, if you know who the artist is. Let me know down in the comments, please. Um, wasn't a, as much of a big fan of the art. If I'm completely honest, um, it's just the fact that going through Greg Capullo's artwork and seeing this sort of very very sort of drastic change in the artwork just slightly put me off a little bit it would have been fine if it had started like that and continued but I, I don't like when we've got a continual presence of, of someone's artwork and then it just changes all of a sudden for one or two issues obviously Greg Capullo needs a little bit of a break he's been drawing a lot of Batman in this particular time but it still just threw me off a little bit uh, and the last issue in this particular volume is a an annual that's a one-off story about Freeze. Again, very, very, very well written. Uh, starts off with him talking to a psychiatrist and develops from there as, as what what pushes him. And it was a it was a really good character story actually. Again, don't really want to spoil too much, but um, over, overall, I'd say it's. Volume 2 is, is a good enough read. It's a little bit disappointing in the fact that I was really hoping for a continuation of The Court of Owls. So that was a really, really good storyline. I wanted something as long, as hard-hitting as that, and, and something as enjoyable. So like I said, the first three issues were really good in that. But the last three, because they weren't part of the Court slash City of Owls storyline, 
it was a little bit harder to get through. And that, I find, is the, the real big shame with this. Um, it might also be the fact that I have really immersed myself within Batman over the last sort of few days or so. I've been obviously reading City of Owls. I've actually been catching up with uh, Arkham Knight because it was first time I played through it. I wasn't able to finish it and now I'm d determined to finish it. Um, and I've, I'm have i going to go back and, and re-watch the Tim Burton Batmans at some point. I even watched Batwoman, which I'm not really going to go into because I don't think it's necessary. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep keep going on with the Greg Capullo Scott Snyder run. I'm really enjoying it so far and uh, I want to see what what's to come. Anyway guys, if you have read uh, Court or City of Owls, please let me know down in the comments. Like I said, if you know of the, the artists of... Four, five, or six, or four, five, or six. It was it issue um, nine, eight, nine, ten. Let's have a look. Uh, so it'd be eleven, twelve, and annual. If you let, if you let me know down in the comments who they are, if you do know them, that'd be great. Um, have you read the uh, Scott Snyder Greg Capullo runs? What did you think? Um, be curious to know your thoughts. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, it definitely helps out. And like I said, with this current situation, I'm going to try and provide you with more content. So I will see you in the next video.